ISO. ISO. Whoa, Let's get whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clear out the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. This is what I get a kick out of. Actually bringing people to my development, showing them what I'm doing, talking about it. We don't want to sell the dream. We don't want you guys to think that you're going to be financially free in seven days. I just got the unicorn of all unicorns. Yeah, I got attacked today. Weekly gang, we're back. Saturday, TPC tour is in full swing. 30 people, the biggest one we've ever done. Super education day. I'm happy, everyone's happy. Let's go. configure this one to where it works is you see this here which was that that flat freeze bedroom block that up block it off put a door here and then you go through there into there take a look at her well there's only one sole person now walking i love this this is my favorite thing this is like yeah this is what i get a kick out of actually bringing people to my development showing them what i'm doing talking about it explaining how we got it, what the procedures are, how we're going to do things, move things around. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happier than he looks. I am happy. Come on, man. Right, let's go. Planning permission for the rear for the extension here, all done, dusted, and we're getting permission for the, on the 31st of that. We've had to make some changes, which I'll talk to you on about the next one because it's very similar. But this one here, as you can see, is semi-detached. The one that we're going to do next is detached. And if you come inside, I'll show you some of the things that we're doing. Halfway through the tour, what do you think so far? Um, yeah, it's going well. I'm really enjoying it. A um, lot of knowledge learned so far, so. Yeah, I'm going to take it into my own projects. Yeah, it's been really, really good. Um, just basically echoing uh, what Caden yeah. said. Um, yeah, it's very simple. It's just it's yeah, great to come out and right sort of yeah. see no everyone, problem. see Steve, how he's talking. Um, and yeah, it's just bringing a lot of knowledge. Wait, the gang. Wait. <laughs> no, I'm joking. How are you finding the tour so far? No, nah, it's proper sick, man. Proper. How do you find Steve in the first place? Bro, it's funny, you know. I just literally the first video I seen was the uh, was it gender reveal with the Lambo, wasn't it? I watched that one and I was like, yeah, well, well it doesn't look like me, but it kind of sounds like me. You know what I mean? So I was like, so straight away connected with him like that, and then I was like. After that, I just started watching everything backwards. Perfect. So yeah, but this guy here did not do five kickups. The week does not <laughs> thank forget. You, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you. The week thank you. does thank not you. forget. Yeah, you, you'll cut that bit out. Yeah. Ah, I know what kind of. Someone asked me the question earlier, if they've got £100,000 in cash and they've got a deal on the table, should they use their own money? Now, I'm going to use this one for... Yeah, I'll use this as an example, just for hypothetical figures. I bought this for 200 grand, just say, and the renovation's 200,000, and my profit is 100,000. So I have to spend 400 grand of my own money to make 100,000. Good deal? It's a great deal. Or I buy it for 200, use 50 grand of my own money for a bridge, so I'm 50 grand out of pocket, then I take 100% developer's finance, and my fees on both will probably work out to about 40 grand. So I've spent 90 grand of my own money and I've made 60. Which one's better? So I've got 310,000 pound now to go and do the same thing over and over again. So 9, 18, 27, I've already got the one. 60 times four is a quarter of a million. So from my original 400, I was making 100. But now for my original 400, there's a chance I can make a quarter of a million because I've used development finance and I've used bridging. 
that's how you all start got to understanding how money works. But development finance is very tricky. You got to make sure you know what the fuck you're doing, and you got to make sure you have a team around you that can deliver. You ready? Yeah, all good. All good. My education tour is one of the best things that I do. I get to go around to my developments, I get to take people with me, I get to explain lots of things. And yeah, I think people who come on my education tours see the real side of property development and what's going on and how I do things. I think everybody should be on a tour. That's what I actually believe. The money that we charge, if you think about it, we have 14 people that don't cover no one's salaries and the driver. It's more for an educational purpose and I get to go around and hopefully inspire some people. Hi Weekly, you all right? I hope you're all well. Yeah, it's been a great, lots of knowledge, lots of obviously avenues that you can go into. Uh, I find out so many ways and obviously how you have to speak to people or even like obviously the wait with the council. Uh, wow, it's just overwhelming to be honest with you. So I will keep learning, keep going my path. I know what I want. I've got my plan and just stick to it. I would recommend to anybody who who planning on to going into property even further or just if you planning to refurb your house because obviously you need to have that knowledge to basically if you're gonna have some builders over to your houses uh, then obviously you need you need to know what you're talking about and obviously if if somebody is lying to you or just telling you literally how the things are yes guys final house of the day how'd you find the tour uh, really, really good, good so far yeah just getting to see properties at different stages and just the little problems that you come up against that you don't foresee before. I think that's really, really beneficial for people to, to think about, because you don't really think about that when you're viewing properties, do you really? No, not really. Yeah. You get a lot of knowledge from today as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so much better than just being, you know, looking at, watching a video you know, in person and just being able to ask the questions to somebody that knows what's going on. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Guys, we're ending. Saturday here. I have a room full of people that I have a question and answer with. Great day. See you Monday. The next day. So here we are today. My ultimate guide to property. 200 people in that room. It's going to be amazing. Early start, freezing cold. We have had a nightmare at my personal home. I don't know who to blame. <clears throat> I'm not sure who to blame. So my central heating in my home works on oil. My tank's outside in my garden. And the other day I had a shower and I said, has anyone checked the oil on the tank? Tom turns up at my house, so he scurries up my wall, round the back of my side, sorry, round the side of my house, gets through the, gets through the, the trees, yep. and he goes, nah, tank's good, it's the third full, you're all right. Turns out the tank actually has a little valve that you have to pull and then that. Uh, <laughs> we wasn't all right, um, we wasn't all right, and last night I got home from the education day and my house was freezing, and I was like, something going on? Now we've had like a room built downstairs underground, so I thought maybe they have got something where there's a leak or something, the pressure had dropped, check the pressure, nothing was wrong with it, 
Could not figure this out for the life of me. Check the oil level on the tanker. It said one third full. This morning, we've gone to the tanker, we pulled it. There is no oil in my tanker. Anybody knows about oil central heating, you will know it's a four or five day delivery on oil. We managed to get someone there now. He's on his way, he's doing it for us. Thousand liters. Happy days. We're here at one of the flips that you guys haven't seen before. We're checking it out. It's kind of like coming to an end. It's kind of coming to a finish. This wasn't a full back to brick refurb. It was an 80% refurb. So we've just come in, we're checking it. We're getting the carpets fitted this week. Upstairs, there's a few issues on the snagging that we've seen. I might take you around this week actually and show you this, but windows are in. All new windows, all new doors. Kitchen's been fitted and yeah, I'm happy with this. Tiling's been done, which is pretty cool. Had a staircase, we had to replace a new staircase and we're good to go. So it's a great start to the week. I have builders on all projects today, everyone's there. I even have builders on my own personal house, which is really cool. I'm going to show you something that we're going to build at my house, which I'm very happy about. We made the decision in five minutes, leading from a Christmas song from TT. That ended up costing me about 80,000 pounds. But we're gonna build that and I'm excited. Great start to the week. We're back, we have oil. The tanker's just pulled up. Now we've got to get it from the front of the house in here and move all the cars out of the way because you can only see this one. But we've got to move all the cars out of the way to get to the side of my house to fill the tanker up, which we've been waiting for for a very long time because the house is freezing. We are using heaters that Thacker happily dropped off last night. Guys, I ain't blaming anybody apart from Tom Warlow. Amber, it was Tom's fault. You all see me and I'm always bantering Tom, all the time. That's Chief Operating Officer Tom, not the other Tom. Now, I've known this guy forever and a day and we have a certain type of banter. He is an integral part of our company. He's so important to us because he's unbelievable at his job and he's 100 miles an hour every second of the day. I have no idea how Amber puts up with him at home because he can't sit still, but super important part of our company. Guys, quick update. I'm at my house. The wall has had to be removed because the bricks weren't the right color, didn't match. Looked like they did, but they didn't. Have a look inside there. We're nearly there. Today is the last day. Guys, been in our offices now for nine months and I still haven't sorted reception out. So today I'm sorting reception out because on Saturday I have 14 meetings, one after the other. Very important. Couple of sofas, probably get two or three of those and I want them now. They're the ones, aren't they? That'll be dropped off tomorrow. No, nah, I want them today. Oh, you ain't gonna drop off. You will. Two of these, please. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I actually thought it was behind me. I was like, two of these please. What's going on? First the car, then it was something else. Now it's this. This is like a running theme now. It's that time of the year. Do you have my other car key? Yeah, just you, yeah, please. What happened? Did, he just, did I just lose him, genuinely? Back in the office and I am going through my meetings for Saturday because I have, I thought I had 14, but I've actually got 16. So that's, um, that's really interesting. Huge projects coming up or huge projects coming up. I'll show you the drawings in a little bit. Just getting them printed out from the company down the road and done the appraisals on them. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of what we do when it comes to development. Something that people who know us know what we do but you weekly people, you see little bits of what we do. So now it's time, we're on season five, episode 11. I think it's time that we show you a little bit more of, um, of some of the developments that we have going on. We don't want to sell the dream. We don't want you guys to think that you're gonna be financially free in seven days, 28 days, six months a year. We want you to understand that there is a process in the property industry and we wanna give the correct information and the correct education out there. So we've never really showed you some of the some of the deals where we make a little bit more money i mean don't get me wrong some of the deals are still only 10 percent 
or 20 percent or 30 percent but sometimes a little bit bigger sums of money involved so we're going to start showing you some of them and we're actually going to review in in about five minutes aren't we yes excited phil yes why are you excited it's a good commercial to build in <laughs> <laughs> you need to write that in subtitles. I was actually going to buy this about a year ago, I think, and I didn't buy it. And what's happened is there was permission to build houses at the front and this was to be turned into a HMO. The people who bought it split the title. So now they've kept the houses from what I believe and they're just selling this, but it's all confusing. Bond Wolf. Sort it out because this one's really confusing. Don't do me day like that. <laughs> Don't do me day. Maybe someone's run out of money. Maybe the bridge has come to an end. Maybe it was too much of a, a job to take on. Maybe they didn't know what they was doing. We'll figure it out one way or another. I still like it though. I do still like it but just not for the money. What area is it, Rally Regis? A vacant freehold residential development opportunity compromised with full public house with planning permission for conversion and extension to create three dwellings or alternative to convert and extend the building to provide nine self-contained flats. So this can be turned into three houses, this building. Knock it down and clock. So it's on there. Create three dwellings or provide nine self-contained units. Deal sourcing, 2023. I reckon that this is the strategy that will help most people get into the property world or get an unbelievable cash flow because there's going to be so many opportunities and there's lots of people out there with money who don't know how to use it in the property world. They don't know what to do with it and that's where a deal sourcer comes into play. 2022 for us, deal sourcing was exceptional. 2023 is going to be off the charts. So yeah, I'm a big fan of deal sourcing. As you all know, I make a lot of money from it. 2023, you guys can make a fortune from it if you put your mind to it. Week ending 10th of February. Oh, wow. So that's, that's good. Yeah, so to arrive with us shortly afterwards, which we, we would probably schedule in for a March collection to coincide with the new registration plate. I am so, over the moon. You've made my day. Um, and looking like build in February for us to hand over in March as we stand today. Good subject news. to change as always. Yep. Sometimes can come forward, sometimes can go backwards. I can only share with you what it's shown on the screen at the moment. Yep. Um, but all looking promising as we stand today. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your call. Appreciate it. No, no problem. If you need anything, as I said, don't hesitate to give us a shout. My name's Tom. My colleague is Ben Harwood. I'll get him to send you an email just so you've got our contact details as well. Yep. Um, if we don't speak to you this side of Christmas, hope, hope you have a, a lovely festive break and um, we'll see you in the new year. And you. Thank you very much for your call. Bye bye. All right, Steve. You take care. Bye. Cheers. Hey. I'm happy. I'm happy. I've like two years. I know, yeah. You want some more good news? Yeah. Oh, yes, the sofas are here. Um, that was Land Rover in Coventry to say that my Range Rover autobiography will be delivered into their dealership on the 10th of February. And obviously, I can pick it up you know, pretty sharpish after that, but they want me to do a collection on the first week in March, so it will coincide with the new registration. Yeah, so I'm happy. Um, yeah, I know guys, I know. Probably people are actually watching this going, hang on, and you've got a Urus, and already got a Range Rover. But I want the Range Rover. Um, it's one of my favorite cars. The Urus is definitely, I have to say, the greatest Jeep ever number one and i am actually having a rolls royce cullinan but this range rover is coming um yeah i'm having it autobiography triple black black on black on black 23 inch wheels it will literally hopefully go straight to urban and have urban do their magic on it but yeah i'm finally getting the car that i ordered probably 18 months ago a year a year and a half ago or something but yeah it's come that was a call Happy, nice, just in time as well for baby cruise. What a way to end the day, half past five, and yeah, my car will be here. Happy days. Might show you a new one before that though.
naughty, naughty. You teasing me. You've been gloating. Got him a treat. Guys, if you know us right, in this office, this thing here, see how he's walking like a penguin? Because he's so scared. We play a game, which you all know, as Megs, Panna. Is it Panna? Pan, pan, what, how do you say it? In the, it's, we call it Megs and Nuts. What's the other saying, Phil? Is it Panna? And I am the king of it. The king. Phil's just been got. Warrelow's just been got. He's next. He's next. Um, come look at this. Well, actually, you can't see, but from a distance, because obviously all the addresses and stuff are on there, which I can't show you just yet. We have some developments, which I want to show you guys. So, five houses, a couple of flats, two commercials, four houses, 16 apartments. I want to start showing you more and more about the development side of things. The one we viewed this morning, was it this morning? Sorry, the afternoon. The one that we viewed this afternoon. Um, nine self-contained units in that pub. It's on auction at Bond Wolf. Guide price last month was 290. This month it's 250. I want to pay about 175 to 200. I should have bought it back when I got offered it with the planning permission for the houses, but I didn't. One of those things. And I predict that it don't sell in auction. You can all see it, you all saw the name of it, have a look. I don't think it's gonna sell for what they want. So I will be ready to pounce once the auction is finished. So I will be looking at getting into that. It's been a great day, unbelievable day. I'm looking forward to going home actually because my bathroom is completely finished and fitted, I'm being told. I've got one more day of painting in my new room and then I can have the carpets fitted, which Andrew Hart, member of the property circle, has kindly offered to do. The only thing left to do in there, I'm being told, is to put my door on, which they're doing tomorrow. First fix with the paints and all the bits and pieces being done today, so tomorrow will be final coats and it'll all be finished. I can put my um, carpets down. Take a look at this. Week again, we're back at my house. I'm with my favourite cameraman, camera woman. My Isabella is here. This room is nearly finished. We have the painting to do tomorrow, and yeah, it's done. But I want to show you a couple of things that haven't gone right. So come with me. What are those? Don't pick up on them. <laughs> I love these. So, guys, the mirror. It's too high, it's not central from the top of the tap to the top of the wall. That's got to be lowered tomorrow. The bath we love, we think it's amazing. But, switch places, screw fix, dropped these two radiators off and they're chrome. They're supposed to be matte black. So, we have to get them changed tomorrow, but I know the matte black 1.6 meters take two days to come. But actually, I think I want 1.1 meters now. So, unfortunately, these holes might have to come out and be replaced. But, take another look, because this is an incredible second bathroom. Morning. Mo <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Happy. It's cold. It's cold, isn't it? It's freezing, mate. Super cold. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm awesome. I'm very, very well. I'm always good. Guys, you know when you hear about a unicorn in property? Now, I've had a lot of unicorns in my time, which are sensational, which means I make a lot more money because unicorns are unicorns. But guess what? I just got the unicorn of all unicorns. I just landed the unicorn. I got it, done, secured. My unicorn, and Isabella's unicorn, this is probably my eighth in my career, but this one is the big one. All will be revealed next week.
Mentoring is a huge part of someone's journey. I believe having the right mentor massively helps people progress. Now, mentoring isn't for everybody. I get asked to mentor hundreds of people. I pick about a handful because I don't want to take people's money to mentor them and they're never going to do anything with it. So I'm quite a good judge of character. Actually, I'm an unbelievable judge of character. So once I've sat down with somebody and been around them for like an hour, I can figure them out. I know exactly what they're about. I can see what they're going to do. I can see if they have it in them. So when we do mentoring, I pick and choose who I want to mentor with, which is a real cool thing to have because I don't have to do it for money. Obviously, people pay me, but if I wanted it just for the money, I would have two, 300 mentor students all paying me in excess of tens of thousands of pounds. That's not the case. I don't have more than 10. I think I have seven at the minute. But Rocky and Matt are two mentor students that have taken everything that I have said and ran with it. From the social media to purchasing their property, the JV with me and Isabella, they are true success stories. They are people who are genuinely going to achieve stuff because they've used the mentoring correctly. Some people don't, and it's quite sad really when I see it. Some people don't take advantage of having someone like me around who has all of this knowledge and experience and they don't use it. But mentoring, I'm not going to push it as hard as I used to push it because the right people will just come into my circle and they're the ones that I'm going to mentor. Aww has decided to come into our offices today and warm his spaghetti bolognese up. But he's also decided to bring all of these for us. And we are picking the tiles for eight houses, no, five houses and three flats today. Bathrooms first, and then we'll do the kitchens afterwards. These guys have come in. They've picked that tile. So they, they led us to that one. That's and one. then this one. Um, and then this one. And nah, don't like it. No, no, no. It looks like laminated floor. Yeah, it looks like laminated floor. I'm not. I'm not keen. Um, the reason that Tall tries to do this is one because we know Lamar. He's part of our inner circle. You all know who he is. And two, we spend an absolute shitload of money with them throughout the year. That he has just ordered his new car. <laughs> um, but yeah so guys this is really important because what happens is if you let other people pick your shit he's gonna break something I can see it <laughs> something's gonna break if you let other people pick it just doesn't ever work out to how I want it I turn up and then I moan that's what they all say and then also when I get sent pictures by Lamar and everybody else the colors don't match up on the pictures so I'll look at something and I'll be like, yeah, I like that. And then when it goes on the wall, I'll be like, who picked that? And they'll say, you did. So having them here today, at least now for the next, I want to say about 16 projects that we do over the next eight weeks, at least I know what's going in each one. The only thing I need is a darker version of that one and a darker version of that one. But tile choice definitely are the best in the business. And I didn't get paid to say that. Got a little bit of a discount, but I didn't get paid to say it. <sighs> Mentoring day is over. I'm not going home. It looks like I'm ready to go home, but guess what? Our air conditioning is working in minus six degrees as air conditioning. There's no heat coming through there, is there, Phil? It's been freezing cold today. I've not enjoyed it. As in, I've enjoyed the day. I've not enjoyed the, the coldness in here. I actually left my offices this afternoon and went and worked in the hotel down the road because it was warmer. It's, um, it's cold in here, but I've had a great day. I always have a great day. I like my days in my office on a Wednesday because I don't get to spend much time in here. And look at them. My offices are incredible. That view. When I go outside and I get to see the whole of Colmore Row from the left to the right, it makes me very happy. Tomorrow is a huge day. We have the giveaway. Guys, the fucking giveaway of all giveaways. The amount of stuff that we are giving away is nuts. Absolutely insane. 
TT, give me some positivity. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he done that on purpose. You know he done that on purpose. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Let's see if he gives me some positivity. Watch this. Oh, oh yeah. Again. Get that in. Again. I'm getting you the measurements over. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let Look how much he pays. Watch this. Look at him. Film. Let me get you the measurements over. Let me get you the measurements over. Tom, what you got to get over? Measurements. Um, just on talking while can you talking. give me some positivity on the giveaway tomorrow, please? It's going to be great. The kids are going to oh, love it. Oh, God. <laughs> positivity. Give me some energy. What do you mean? Like, What's tomorrow going to be like? Tell the, tell the weekly. The children are going to love it. It's going to be like Santa. <laughs> hang on, hang early. on. His energy was just, so the energy was like, this is going to be amazing. And all he did was just raise his voice. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you tomorrow. This is nice this is. Mate, this is this is this is the bollocks. No, it's not. Needs a new bathroom. Yeah, no. It's got the seashell bathroom. Yeah. One hundred ninety-nine quid from being here. Ten. Five to ten. Ten. Anything between there. Yeah. Um, new kitchen, new bathroom. Yeah. Paint, new flooring. Yeah. Maybe yeah. some doors. Yeah. You might need to change. And well, there's not a door on there. No, so you might need you might need to change the doors. <laughs> I realise there's no radiator in that room as well. Yeah, have you checked the boiler? Yeah, it's all it's quite quite old. Bit of back seat. What's my boy's gas in there? He's on the back seat. That's radiant. This was done in 2014. Top. Okay, so I it's not. Just, it's not too. It's quite just get old. it. All you got to do is get it um, serviced and get it insured. Yeah, it is going to cost you ten, I think. Yeah, yeah. Probably. With the gardens as well. I don't know about gardens. I just need a labour. I think clean that up. <laughs> You're used to the gardens. Guys, so this is Gersh's new property. You probably all saw it on Instagram yesterday. Can you put the post up here so you can show everybody what the post was? Um, fourth house, but this is a straightforward buy to let. This isn't a flip. He's not trying to spend 30, 40 grand on it. He's literally just going to spend maybe five to 10 and rent it straight out. Rental market around is crazy as well. Like, it's nuts. There's one behind us. Um, that we've put on the channel before, 900 quid. Mm. So the rental market around here is amazing. So massive congratulations to Gersh, who is doing more than some property educators in the UK. Yeah. You know it's true. <laughs> you all know it's true. Fresh <laughs> tree. <laughs> I like that. That was pretty cool to be fair. Guys, we're getting ready for our biggest giveaway ever. So everyone's come down to help, which is really nice. So we've got like different characters here. So I'm like Santa Claus apparently. Isabella's Mrs. Claus. What's him? The Scrooge. Oh <laughs> Scrooge. <laughs> the Grinch. And then we've got the elf. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching the rise. And I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride. This one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time. This one's for my wife. Could have left a dozen times just about my side. Talk done. Time for the giveaway. Which, hopefully. See, when are you ready, mate? Let everybody through. Ready yeah, yeah, let them through. Alright, so they're coming. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Um, love the talk. Talk was amazing. The kids were happy. Now, real fun beginning. Yeah, I'm watching the rise. And I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hard to surprise. This one's for the ride. This one's for the new one. I just needed some time. This one's for my wife. Could have left a thousand times just so by my side. This one's for the ground. I knew it would happen. Yo, thank you, Steve. Love you, man. It's hard to get over. Before I'm in this world, but I'm fully devoted. I don't take it for granted that the door's been open. 
I knew I was different, I knew I was chosen A breadwinner, but I'm soft-spoken All of them look like a 5950 and there's no cap Let's have a toast for that Let's have a toast for the Yeah, I just said to her about it's even to lend someone a tenner nowadays is a big thing. Oh, no, yeah. What you do is incredible. Thank you very much. Keep it up, man. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. The kids were so happy. It was amazing. So yeah, I'm gassed. So, put them in the morning. Weekly gang. I'm back. Busy day, isn't it? Busy day. I've been back to the school where we did the giveaway yesterday because I handed out some more stuff and we went back in i got to meet some of the parents and some of the students we gave things to and it's been a really cool morning we didn't film it because it was more personal and now i'm coming to have a look at what's going on here weekly game <laughs> scratched and dirty it's not nice is it every time we come somewhere I end up getting stuck behind you. Go on, Tom, get your shot. It's wicked here in the afternoon because you get like the sun behind the, the steel. So, the brickies have not been able to brick for three days because the weather is horrendous. It's so cold, the concrete's not mixing, the water in the tap is frozen. So they've had three days off, but you can clearly see where we're at. We're um, we're getting there. We would be a lot further ahead, but we're not. I have actually got full planning now on this for the double story side extension. Take a look there. Phil will leave it up on the screen. And that was passed, I think yesterday or the day before. So yeah, it is freezing, freezing, freezing cold here. Like, it's horrible. Um, I'm gonna pop to the other one now, have a look at what's going on there, and then, head to my house. Guys, I didn't go to the other property. I actually came home. My Isabella cooked some food for me, Tom and Phil. Amber, Tom has had today three bacon sandwiches. I can't say loads of food. <laughs> three. And the second one he had was like that. She saw it, I sent her a photo. Okay. So Tom has eaten a lot. But no, I've had a great week. I hope you guys are all enjoying the weeklies and this one especially, I think, is one of my favorite weeklies. So guys, I will see you on Monday. <laughs>